I'm Joe Mizzardino. I'm the Micropolis Coordinator here at uh, Brick Fair, Virginia. I attended my first Brick Fair in 2009. Uh, saw what people were doing, got encouragement from some other builders. Displayed my first Micropolis creation in 2011. Mm -hmm. Really small uh, layout, maybe 20 buildings. And um, it's grown to what you see here now. I've been uh, building steadily for about four or five years. I've got about 100 buildings under my belt. And, and um, you know, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger until until I take over. <laughs> and so you are the Micropolis coordinator here at Brick Fair, right? It's an unofficial title. Um, there really isn't a lot of super coordination in Micropolis. It's the most uncollaborative collaborative there is. Yeah, so you basically just build a square, right? And you put it next to someone else's square, that's it? Pretty much, yeah. That's, essentially, that's it, yeah. Um, you, you sort of roll the dice. Everybody dumps their stuff on the table and you stand it upright. Boom, you got a city. Totally. And so at this year's layout, how many people would you say have contributed in addition to yourself? We have uh, we had eight, eight counting myself. Okay. Um, most contributed uh, three, four, uh, three or four buildings. Myself, I have, I think, 97. 97. So you are modules. by far the most uh, active here on the layout. Yes. Awesome, yeah. awesome. I do one-man shows at uh, Brick Fair, New Jersey. Oh, okay. So, uh -huh. yeah. And yeah. so for someone that's unfamiliar with the Micropolis standard, let's uh, maybe take a look at these modules right here, and you can kind of give a rundown of what it's all about. The standard itself was started at, uh, by Twin Log out in Minneapolis. Um, the basic scale of the, of the builds is um, is uh, nine feet high per brick, seven and a half feet wide per stud, and um, basically what we try to recreate is a, is a big city, New York, Chicago kind of vibe um, in that scale. It's uh, for people familiar with uh, model trains. It's uh, smaller than N scale. Totally, totally. And so the the cars are basically what jumper plate with like a stud on top kind of yeah, thing. The car is is a jumper with a uh, a plate or a cheese slope. Uh, trucks are maybe a one by three plate uh, with some tile and a cheese slope. Um, awesome, you know, you awesome. Do a, we do a, we do an elevated rail line. Um, and I mean, most of my inspiration, like I say, comes from uh, comes from the big cities on the East Coast in Chicago. Totally, I'm totally. A, I'm a huge architecture fan, and that's what really drives my my creations. Awesome, awesome. So maybe let's uh, do a little bit of a, a run through of the layout here. Kind of give a, a little bit of a shout out to some of your favorite buildings as we're passing them. Um, let's see. Where's John's stuff? Uh, John Stevens has actually he has a, a nice build on the other side. We'll do um, this stuff. Is these two builds are done by uh, uh, Denise from Wamalug. And she contributes almost every year. Um, this is a neat build. This is my favorite by her. This is a neat technique, though. This is monorail track. Yeah, doesn't it look like the Aon Center in Chicago almost? A little bit, yeah. But with the uh, with the the monorail track is a clever technique. Yeah. And uh, it's it's nicely done. It's a little fragile, but it's yeah. it's very nicely done. That ribbed rail kind of look, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this, then here's the elevated rail line, right? Yeah. This this actually was a neat idea I got from um, a builder over in Europe who had designed it as an LDD element, uh, okay. and he posted it to Flickr, but he said he couldn't, he could basically couldn't afford to build it. Uh, so I wrote to him and said, can I do it in brick and display it? And he was all for it. So I, I, unfortunately, I'm drawing a blank on the guy's name right now, but um, he was from Norway, I believe. Okay. And uh, it was a really neat design, and so we incorporated it here in the U.S. Totally. Based off of his, uh, his work. Awesome, awesome. And then moving on down here, we have a little bit of a waterfront, I see. This is sort of inspired by the um, the canals in Chicago. Okay, Chicago the, River kind of Chicago thing, River, all that kind right, of stuff. With all the bridges. Uh, and I just thought it was a neat effect. Gives a little break to the scenery. Um, gives a little more, de you know, viewpoint inside inside the layout when we're uh, depth of field. Totally. So, moving along, we've got, um, that's, you know, that's a building by John, neat building by John Stevens. Uh, Stevens on Flickr. Yep, yep. The Octane building. Octane uh, Global Headquarters, something like that. He's a, he's a very prolific builder. He's very good. His, his detail work is is amazing. One of the most talented guys out there, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. In uh, not just Micropolis. Yeah. You, you know, in space. Mets and other, yeah. yeah, he's a really good guy. Um, so we have a highway here that this uh, was originally designed by uh, Matt Gibbons down in um, in Sea Lug, uh -huh. and I kind of pirated his design a little bit. Uh, now he's not here this year, but. He's another really good builder that usually contributes a lot. And it's a great design because the Micropolis standard is like raised up off of a base plate. And so right. this sort of makes the natural it... natural sunk. Is, yeah. The sunken road is, is real easy to do. And, uh, you, know, you know, shout out to Matt for the, the neat design. Awesome, awesome. So, Adrian Drake was a new contributor this year. Uh, Adrian's usually known for 
like things like the Serenity. Yeah. He, he put a piece in this year, uh, the Cleveland Brown Stadium, and uh, that actually won Best Micro. That's awesome. So, first time. Wow. So. Adrian can't just not, he can't not win an award or yeah, something like that. To. It's a law, I think. And then is this building right here, to me this is uh, eerily reminiscent of Mies van der Rohe's, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Library in Washington, D.C. I, I can't comment too much on it. You may be right. It's not mine. It's another building by okay. Denise uh, from Wamala. Oh, well, she's from the Washington area. Maybe there's something it's, to it's that. possible. She does the Dulles Terminal every year, too, so... That's a possible connection. Yeah, yeah. Now that I think about it, the more and more, yeah, definitely. Awesome. This is one of my favorite builds. This is a, um, a hospital with a research cancer center attached to it in the helipad. It's actually one of my very early builds. It's one of the second or third building I did uh, when I started building Micropolis, but it still remains one of my favorites. It's awesome. It has to add an angle with some angle plates, doing some angly things. I just, you know, I took a bunch of plates and started shuffling them like a deck of cards. And boom, there was a building. It's awesome, uh, awesome. It's a pretty organic process. Yeah, and I think a lot of these buildings, it's like you don't have to do a lot of master planning, you know, a lot of infrastructure. Like if you're building a 10-foot tall skyscraper, I would imagine most of the work is like doing cross bracing and all this kind of stuff. Here you're allowed to really just kind of be creative very quickly. You can. Um, it's a very fast process. Most of my builds uh, really don't take more than six to eight hours start to finish. I don't design or plan anything. Yeah. Nothing sketched, nothing's drawn. It's all organic. That's awesome, awesome. And then coming along here, we have some more buildings. Uh, Dan Picora, he contributes a couple buildings every year. Um, you know, he's, he's a pretty good builder. He, he usually goes small scale, but usually very nicely done. Yeah. Shouts out to Dan. I'm very familiar with yeah. Mr. Danny. D Damn it, Danny, I believe is the phrase been going around the weekend. And this is another one of John's buildings. Uh, I kind of refer to it as the Enterprise Diner. All that's missing is uh, a couple of engine pods, yeah. and you think the damn thing would take off. And, uh, you know, those trees are very sick, and we don't see too many of them on the layout. I see a couple here and there, but it's awesome to see those trees. Yeah, those are a really neat design. That's one of John's. Um, it's basically a Travis brick and just layered with yeah. tile and plate. It's a really clever design. It's like a, a micro lull sphere almost, yeah. you know? It's really, yeah, it's a good, as I said, John's a good builder. It's a, it's a great design. Awesome, awesome. Well, wonderful layout. Micropolis is always a pleasure to take a look at, and uh, you're just a wonderful builder, and everyone that's contributed here, just wonderful stuff. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys.